Up and away, in my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. Up, up and away, my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> okay, all right, I must go get to the point. Good afternoon, whatever size of diaspora that you're on. Let's talk about it, family. This is too, this is, you know, no, it ain't too crazy. The, our native folks told us that the white man speak with four tongues. And a lot of us don't want to believe that. <laughs> but the more you really study history and the more you look at our history, the more you say, Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, my Lord, 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 Lord. He's, oh, listen, y'all. This was the worst thing that could have happened yesterday. During The Bachelorette, a Michigan TV affiliate accidentally airs election results. Now, you tell me if it was an accident or not. There was a lot of drama between Claire Crawley and her bows on Tuesday night. So fans of The Bachelorette already had reason for the confusion, all right? They already had reason for the confusion. But WXYZ TV, the affiliate in Detroit, added to the turmoil by superimposing election results during the dating show. Notably, it was a full week before the election day. What the hell really going on, people? <laughs> oh, Lord. Republicans were having a good night, according to X WXYZ, with President Trump winning Michigan over Joseph R. Biden Jr. by a margin of 50 to 44. John James, the Republican challenger for Senate in the state, had apparently knocked off Senator Gary Peters a Democrat by 46 to 50 percent margin. But two first term House Democrats with Representative Alyssa Stockton and Haley Stevens had beaten their Republican challengers by 52 to 45 percent each, XYZ reported. The results kept scrolling for local, state, and federal races for the first six minutes. Of the damn show. The candidates who received electoral roses, like Mike Colwell, a Republican candidate for Oakland uh, County Executive, who polls have shown is down by double digits, but who won in XYZ's projection by a landslide. Representative Debbie Dingo, Rashida Talib, and Brenda Lawrence, three Democrats from Metro Pro Detroit, who are expected to win easily, barely squeak past their challenges. As Mrs. Crawley gave Joseph Arbery, Arbor, Arborady the boot from the Bachelorette after a confrontation, the station scrambled to explain what the hell was really going on. A station employee who declined to provide his name said the result had inadvertently appeared on the air as the station was doing tests to prepare for election night. The station hadn't intentionally pick, been picking winners and losers, the employee said, and the supposed election results were not supposed to show up on TV screens. The employee apologized on behalf of the station. While the station was having a tough evening, Mrs. Crawley was preparing to leave the show after three episodes to pursue a relationship with a front runner and on her hand, Dale Moss, which I don't really give a damn about. Now, I want to know, y'all think that's a prelude to next week? I mean, because I don't see no way in hell you can accidentally uh, mock up the election results on a TV screen with a totally non-political show plan 
all of a sudden you just at random pop up that Donald Trump is the winner, 50 to 44 over Joe Biden. No. What y'all think, Tammy? I don't want to say nothing. I just want to know what you think. Just tell me. Just tell me. Because like I said before, it's only one way out of this mess. <laughs> if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next video.